everybody. Today is, is a bit of a different a video. This of course is Simmer Erin and we are going to be doing a Paralyzed update but instead of a theme, in the past I've done theme videos such as Paralyzed Clothing, Parafolk Personality, you can check it all out in my big Paralyzed playlist. Today we're going to be doing an overall update for the beginning as we're heading into March. So these are some Q&A with two of the team members, which is Alex, the main developer, and Leia, one of the designers. And I think maybe we have a few things from Roxanne as well. This is not going to be themed, but hopefully you will find this really interesting. It's a wrap up and also just some really interesting notes about different elements of gameplay, including weddings, time travel, and more. If you guys are interested, I first want you to take a look at this disclaimer. Basically, I am not a member of the development team. All this is speculation. Even when we are getting some answers directly from the developers, most of the time it's in flux, it's speculative. If you want the confirmed features, you can go check out the official Steam listing page. And also, finally, if you guys do like these videos, if you like Paralyzed news speculation videos, if you like Sims 4 news speculation videos, or Sims commentary in general, definitely consider subscribing because I do a lot of it. And I also am always open to video suggestions because I love interacting with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing is actually going to be from Leah and it's going to be about weddings. You heard right, weddings. Now I'm going to give a disclaimer right now. I am a little bit wedding obsessed. In fact, I was going to make a Sims 4 video talking about weddings and how I want them to improve. Hopefully that'll come out sometime once I get it edited. But I actually freelance right for a wedding boutique. So that's my excuse. But let's see what Leah had to say. We are thinking of a way to have actual weddings with organization, preps, etc. I don't know if it's going to end up in game, but we may be able to give you guys weddings for all cultures. So let's break that down. First of all, it sounds very much like this is not a priority for the base game, and I'm okay with that. I think improved weddings would be awesome. But as of now, it's not the main focus. I don't even think they've focused on gameplay completely yet. So as far as that, I love the idea of having different cultures for weddings. However, the mention of weddings for all cultures, I'm a little skeptical of just because I have no idea how that would work. I do agree, and this is something I should have thought about more. Our ideas, our concepts of weddings in The Sims is very westernized culture, and I feel like it would be great to have some other cultures incorporated as far as all cultures, I'm not really sure how that would work. You guys can let me know. Another question, someone asked, will you be able to assign a bridesmaids and best man and things like that? Leah said, I would love it. We are not there yet. I can't confirm anything, but it would be so nice. Just imagine your dog bringing the rings. So again, I think super ambitious. I would love to be able to assign bridesmaids and best men. I do actually think that I mentioned that in the Sims 4 video I recorded but not have yet released. I think that's reasonable for a life simulator to be able to assign roles, not really seeming to be too difficult. Of course, I'm not a game developer. As far as your dog bringing the ring down the aisle, that would be really interesting. But again, I feel like it's a little bit ambitious, but I do like the ideas. So the next question was actually directed towards Alex and it was talking about being able to play with different time periods. Alex says, we really like the idea of being able to play at different time periods, but we are focusing on present day for now and cannot confirm what we'll work on in the future. The person responded, all you would have to do is allow us to customize what the NPC's spawn is as far as fashion and top with the fact that the cell phones wouldn't be attached or required, then we can make our own era CC while you focus on present day. As long as we can play with any era with no interruptions like modern NPCs, it's all good. So I think that's a good point and also there are some downsides to this as well. As far as focusing on the present day for the base game, I think that is 100% reasonable. I am someone who thinks it would be interesting to have some other time periods incorporated in a game in general, but for a base game, I just do not think that should be the focus. 
what the other person was saying about having just the ability to just download your own CC and kind of imagine it. I like that. I do think they have a good point about the cell phones. So as you guys know, in Sims 4, and I think Sims 3 as well, you always have a cell phone, you don't have a choice, and it's constantly there. So if you're someone who's playing the Decades Challenge, like my fr friend Angie does The Sims, you still have a cell phone and you have to do everything by cell phone. So it'd be cool if there could be some options to not always have that cell phone attached. Plus it gets kind of annoying. As far as not spawning modern NPCs, I'm not sure about that. That's actually an interesting question I'd like to explore as far as how towny fashion is going to work in Paralyze. Again, not my top priority, but it is one of those things where if you're trying to play the Decades Challenge or something like that and a parafolk or a sim or whatever walks down, the street and they're wearing jeans and whatever it just doesn't it kind of breaks the immersion so I totally understand that but I don't know how realistic that is also we are actually gonna now move on to building a little bit so someone asked Alex I shouldn't assume can we make our own community lots and Alex said yes so I think I did kind of confirm this in a video before, but just so you guys know, we will be able to make community lots as well, which of course is absolutely amazing. Someone asked Alex what they're focusing on most right now. And I think this is a common question because a lot of people are really eager to see things about gameplay or more things about Parafolk. And so Alex said, right now we're working on modding tools as well as Paramaker tools, which that totally makes sense. I have seen most things about the Paramaker was our latest video update. I think we're gonna get maybe a Parafolk reveal sometime next couple months. I really hope so. So that's what they're working on right now. So if you're wondering and worried about why there's not much hint about gameplay, it's because I don't think they've really dug into gameplay too much yet. Awesome, can we create sublots in the game? Like a brush to designate a series of connected rooms in your building as its own lot, which may be an apartment or public lot or a commercial building. Alex answered, we don't have that feature at the moment, but we are considering adding something like that later. So that almost sounds more like multifunctional lots. And I, again, this is an idea that I think is really amazing, but I don't expect it in a base game and I'm okay with not having that. So also there was a question that arose about landlines. Now I am an old school person. I personally would like landlines because not everybody has gotten rid of their landlines. And also it would be helpful if you want to play with a sim that maybe just isn't as up to date or maybe they just like landlines. And landlines are just useful even if you think about it, businesses still have landlines. It's not like they don't exist. Alex said, not sure, but we really like landlines. So again, not a confirmation, but something they've considered. Someone also asked about dogs. Alex answered that they're thinking about different sizes of dogs, but they haven't started working on that yet. And they also mentioned that they would love to see the dog with more new graphics. So I know a lot of people were really concerned when they first saw the render of the dog and they said, oh, the graphics aren't for me. But honestly guys, and I've been saying this, I think the graphics are getting updated and I was certain that was not the final render of the dog. And in fact, Alex says, we're going to update a doggo, I guess that's the name for the dog, later. We're focusing on the humans at the moment. So again, that graphic of the dog that we got pretty early on, that's not the final one. So it's going to be probably more detailed and a little bit, I would guess a little bit more realistic, but still retain a cartoony look. Alex, how would you feel about a paint mode for freckles, moles, and beauty marks? Will this be something difficult to implement? And Alex answers, it's something we are considering, but being able to paint stuff on skin is a technical challenge, so I'm not sure yet. I think that's really interesting. Again, that's not something I'd really thought of, but as someone who has freckles, actually my freckles fade during the winter and then they come back during the summer, but as someone who has freckles, 
I hope that we can at least have details like freckles. So I definitely want to look into that. But as far as the paint mode, I don't know if that's totally necessary. Sure, it might be neat, but I personally would probably be terrible at it. And my pair of folk would probably just look like they had a disease or something like that. So anyway, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, we discussed just some preliminary things about weddings we discussed some things about customization and worlds and i hope that this was helpful as we're moving into march remember he has actually hinted that we're going to see something soon i don't know how soon that's going to be don't know exactly what it is but i have a feeling it's going to have something to do with the pair maker so please let me know in the comments below what do you think and i'll see you next video bye guys